Welcome to the video on available to promise. In this video, we will understand the fundamentals of the concept called available to promise. Now, while the production continues to be done in a production unit as per the master production schedule, the marketing or the sales team needs to continue to sell the items to the customers and get the orders booked. Now here we are considering a make to stock organization which makes the items and stocks it as per the capacity of the production facility. And as it is manufacturing and stocking it, the sales team has to go out to the customers and has to sell it. Now, they cannot oversell or they cannot sell more than the quantity which can be manufactured. Now, the master production schedule provides the sales team with the information which is useful in negotiating the delivery dates with the customer. That means what quantity can be delivered to the customer and when. So when the sales team members go to the customer and say that they would like to sell them the items that the manufacturing facility produces, the customer may ask them for a certain quantity to be delivered by a certain date. Now, the sales team member has to know what quantity is getting available on which date based on the master production schedule and then accordingly they will commit to the customer. So, this quantity of end items that the sales team can promise to deliver on a specified date is called available to promise inventory. So let's look at the definition here. So the quantity of end items that the sales team can promise to deliver on specified dates. So date and the quantity is called available to promise inventory. Now let's look at the table which we had used in some of the earlier videos to calculate the master production schedule and let's then understand this concept in more detail. So as you can see this table has the forecast for eight weeks the customer orders booked, the MPS quantity which is going to be received in week 2, week 7, the projected on hand quantity and the MPS start right when it is starting to manufacture based on this lead time. Now assume that the first week that means this week here is the current week. Now the procedure for calculating ATP information is slightly different for the first week of the schedule which is the current week than for the other weeks. So let us look at that definition for the first week. Now ATP for the first week is current on hand inventory. So we have this on hand inventory plus the MPS quantity to be received in first week if there is any quantity which is going to be received in the first week minus the cumulative total of booked orders up to but not including the week in which the next MPS quantity arrives. So cumulative total of booked orders right so basically these two are your supply current on hand inventory the MPS to be received and this is your demand. So 
डिमांड इज सेंग क्यूमुलेटिव टोटल ऑफ बुक्ड ऑर्डर अप टू बट नॉट इंक्लूडिंग द वीक इन विच द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट एम पी एस क्वानिटी आई सो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द करंट वीक एंड द नेक्स्ट एम पी एस क्वानिटी अराइवल वीक सो हेयर बेसिकली द नेक्स्ट एम पी एस क्वानिटी विच इज गोइंग टू अराइव इज इन वीक टू सो हेयर वी विल ओनली कंसिडर वीक वन सो इफ वी फिल दिस इंफॉर्मेशन सो ए टी पी फॉर फर्स्ट वीक विल बी इक्वल टू करंट ऑन हैंड इन्वेंट्री विच इज फिफ्टी फाइव सो दिस इज फिफ्टी फाइव प्लस एम पी एस क्वानिटी टू बी रिसीव्ड इन फर्स्ट वीक सो देर इज नो एम पी एस क्वानिटी टू बी रिसीव्ड इन फर्स्ट वीक हेयर दिस इज ओनली बींग मैनुफैक्चर्ड फॉर द सेकेंड वीक सो देर इज नथिंग बींग रिसीव सो दिस इज जीरो माइनस द क्यूमुलेट टोटल ऑफ बुक्ड ऑर्डर्स अप टू बट नॉट इंक्लूडिंग द वीक इन विच द नेक्स्ट एम पी एस नेक्स्ट एम पी एस क्वानिटी इज अराइविंग इन वीक टू सो वी शुड नॉट इंक्लूड वीक टू सो इन वीक वन द कस्टमर ऑर्डर बुक इज थर्टी एट सो दिस इज थर्टी एट सो वॉट दिस लीव इज विद इज सेवेंटीन यूनिट्स सो सेवेंटीन इज योर ए टी पी क्वान्टिटी फॉर द सेल्स टीम मेंबर्स टू प्रोमिस टू द कस्टमर्स नाउ जस्ट अ कपल ऑफ वेरी क्विक पॉइंट्स हेयर सो इफ यू नोट हाउ द मास प्रोडक्शन स्केड्यूल कंसिडर्स द डिमांड इट टेक्स द लार्जर ऑफ द टू द फोरकास्ट एंड द कस्टमर ऑर्डर्स बुक्ड because it is trying to be on the safer side however in this case we have to consider the actual customer orders book because whatever is then left over that needs to be actually booked with new orders so that's why in this one we use the customer orders booked now in other words what this 17 means is that if a customer calls today and asks how many quantity can be made available in this week then the sales team should be able to commit a quantity of 17 so the atp in second week is mps quantity received in week 2 so here we are receiving the mps quantity of 150 minus the customer orders booked until the next mps quantity so here what is the customer orders booked until the next mps quantity next mps quantity is only in week 7 so until that that means up to week 6 so from week 2 till week 6 whatever is the customer orders booked now let's calculate this so mps quantity received in week 2 this is equal to 150 minus the customer orders booked until the next mps quantity so this is 27 27 plus 24 plus 8 and then we have for week 5 and week 6 it is 0 so 0 plus 0 so this becomes 150 minus 27 plus 24 plus 8 so this becomes 9 59 and 150 minus 59 so this equal to 91 units so 91 is the quantity which is available to promise in week 2 so here if a customer calls and says that okay i want you to sell me this item that you are producing and tell me how much quantity can you give to me now even though you are receiving an mps of 150 and even though you have a order booked in week 2 only of 27 you can only promise 91 units because the other units 
are already committed to the customers in the subsequent weeks and there is no other supply which is becoming available. So this is the quantity that you can promise to the customer in week two. Now as you can note there is a difference between the available to promise quantity and the projected on hand even though you have on hand of 137 in week two the available to promise to the customer is 91. So that is the importance of this calculation because in this calculation you are looking at the future committed quantity to other customers. Now as you move on right so in week two you have 91 quantity available now as you get more orders available rather as you get more orders that is booked by the customers this available to promise is going to continue to reduce so you have to this here this uh, customer orders is going to increase and this is going to reduce as you go on in week three week four week five and so on now in week seven we are again receiving an mps quantity of 150 units now since we do not have any customer orders here in week seven or week eight entire 150 is available to be promised so this 150 is available in week seven to be promised to customers so the first point to note is that if you receive a customer order and it exceeds the atp quantity in those time periods the mps must be changed before the customer orders can be booked so for example in week 7 we have an atp of 150 now let's say you get an order from the customer for 300 quantity then this mps quantity should be changed to 300 and then only the customer order can be booked now sometimes these cases happen where you know you have a very loyal customer who you don't want to disappoint and if they need a higher quantity then you may want to change the mps now if you are in the current week which is week one and you are booking order here for week seven you have enough time to then adjust your production and you will then be able to do it however the MPS has to be changed first then the orders should be booked the second point is as the new customer orders are accepted the ATP inventory is reduced to reflect commitment of the firm to make that quantity available so like I said I mean in week two based on the orders that you have booked for the remainder of the weeks you have available to promise quantity of 91 now as you get the other orders in these weeks this 91 is going to reduce so let's say you add 10 orders in week four so your available to promise in week two is now going to become 81 so that you don't overcommit to the customer so if it is 81 you cannot again commit 91 however the actual inventory stays unchanged until the order is removed from inventory and shipped to the customer so the actual inventory which is 137 this is still the same until this 27 is actually shipped to the customer then the inventory quantity is reduced so there is a difference between quantity of inventory available and available to promise and we have to be very careful when we are looking at these two quantities so these are some of the fundamentals of the concept available to promise